Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Take Cassiopeia into the already existing Varus, since Varus has so much range, already wants to go to Lethality to win the lane. And with Heimerdinger here, it's actually going to be really hard for Cassio to navigate the team fights in the 5v5. However, six. W is down, so this could be an angle to try and force something. Uh, we, we waited a little bit too long. I think if we just committed and Sejuani Q forward there, Jax yeah. Q forward, we stack up the E passive. No dashes on anyone. And you can see he hit level six. He wanted to kill that oh. minion to get it, but now in the bottom lane, it's EG making the dive. First blood, and they get the money on FBI. Realm Warp shows up to bring in JoJo for backup. They're not done yet. They want to get both here, and Luger's shot to pieces. Double kill for FBI. Beautiful. The gold is. So, as a jungler, I think the best thing you can do here is try to create a scenario where you're either creating a monster... He's available, but he uses it now. So this could yeah. actually be really dangerous. He's not going to have that Counter-Strike available, and they are going to start up the dive. JoJo comes in, dropping the Ruin Prison, trying to get him low enough. Doklo wants to outplay it, but there's just no way, man. JoJo gets the money, EG3. If Ryze tries to exchange back, he's going to lose that 1v1. That way, it's much easier for Palafox to Vulcan's dodge. behind him. He's oh, in he's, trouble. He, he look, he's looking doomed here. Well, he does sidestep the grenade, but you can't sidestep Rune Prison. Damage doesn't come out super fast, but it will come out fast enough for him. Commit some resources, because this is worth the money. Yeah. Contracts just waited very, very long, and then he was moving towards mid lane to drop it, and he ran into the Elise. And basically, the Elise kept him in combat. Mid lane tier one. And I just love how EG are moving in, and they're taking control of the enemy jungle here, getting wars, setting up turrets, having inspired in JoJo and Fulton. JoJo Pin Rome warms melee range of the Sejuani. Even if he gets caught in a, rune, like a Glacial Prison, it doesn't matter, because Sivir doesn't even do enough damage before the CC ends. He feels very well now with the new Archangels. Yep. However, Elise, most would argue, does not scale well. That said, against Jax, he doesn't have actually any... CLG, like, they basically see nothing in their bot side jungle. There's way more EG wards down there. A lot of TP's coming out. CLG trying to make the move here. However, EG may be able to respond. Vulcan gets caught out. A lot of damage to burst him down, but it's not quite there in time. And they have to trade Doklo away for it. Someday gets back over the wall. Contracts wants to chase him, but Sejuani alone will not have the damage. They bring over Palafox to get it done. But now they're both stuck on the wrong side of the enemy line. Contracts tries to keep on running and running and running and running, but he won't run nowhere. JoJo goes on a killing spree as Palafox tries to slither away. The arrow flies, but it won't hit the target. Palafox just looking for an execute at this point if he can get it. One more turret shot. They've decided there's no way they can possibly try to fight for this Drake. They're just too far behind to take a fight in open ground. It's not the soul yet, but this will be behind JoJo. JoJo has quietly pulled massively ahead here. You know, he's, he's more than 40, nearly 50 CS up at the this point, plus has all the kills to his belt. Now, it's gonna be really difficult, but Jojo's Jojo very far out here. Uh -oh. <laughs> Isaac, did you just cast a curse this I'm man? sorry. You turned him into a mid lane buffet. Uh, gonna take an extra second to get there, but they oh, should be able to pick him up. It takes so long to kill him. Good lord, man. That's a Cassiopeia. Just, just bite him real quick. Just give him a snake <laughs> okay. bite. There we go. <laughs> Shut down the pallet. Yeah, he's not afraid he of this He can't even Jax. defend the tower at this point. What? That's how bad it is. Like, the tower's too low HP, but even the Steve 3 at full HP, with a wave, as long as Ryan's still, still here. Yet. Inspired may yet be able to smite Steve Here's where the DPs are coming in. They don't have double DP. They have to burst the dragon down and get out. Not gonna find it. There it is. Objective bounty claims. CLG. Can they escape against the wall? They saved the Dragon Soul, but JoJo's not done. EG's still looking to find a little bit more. JoJo goes in. They grab the kill on Dope, but they follow it up with Pooh. JoJo survives thanks to Stasis, and now he flashes away to safety. Palafox falls as he kills JoJo with a poison. I don't know that they know he's around here. He's I don't, got no don't vision, though. As if they know, yeah. He's yeah, got he, no vision. He just has to... Total he burger flip a coin. Total burger flip. We love to see it. Blur comes it. on. Here he is. Over the wall. Oh. It's Ferris. Neither jungler gets the smite. I actually really like what they did in the rotation. No flash fires, no flash Heimerdinger, no flash rise, no flash Elise, right? Just had a huge team fight. Everyone burst on a front to back team fight and just send it because at this point, uh, yeah, defending towers against all this poke and CC, it's going to be really hard. It is a prop. Flash is ready to go. EG with control over the Drake right now. Contracts fires off the ulti, but it does not make direct contact. Someday wants to frontline here a little bit. The Drake is low. The objective bounty is claimed by Contracts, and CLG does it again. The soul denied a second time. Dokla jumping back over the wall, but he'll be bit by Inspired. And that means a one for nothing trade there for EG. He just wants to hard force this. They've already got the Baron down below half HP. Contracts goes in, finds the Glacial Prisoner on the FBI. 
but there's Alibox no follow on the side. here. Again, out into a valuable target. Jojo's gonna be focused. He's taking a lot of damage, but the shield's gonna proc and keep him alive. Someday now, soaking most of it. CLG, do you believe? EG's on the run. CLG turning their attention right back over to Baron. The scaling is happening right in front of our eyes, boys. <laughs> I hate to be that guy, but uh, I'm gonna be that guy. Wait. Oh, nice try. Flashbacks to Gumayushi. And Varus want people to run into them, and then the top side of EG wants to run into them. Yeah. They're not great at kiting as much. So Sunday is buying a lot of million effective health thanks to Karma and the Seraphs. Uh, we'll see how they play this fight out. Well, CLG's just gonna start to burn the Drake. They throw out Sejuani's ulti to go after Inspired. They force him away, and the Drake is secured by CLG. They will tie. Hold on and get little bits of advantages back. Over and over and over. And this has been both games now no this push. weekend for EG. Yes. Early leads into mid-game mistakes. JoJo getting caught now all alone in the middle of nowhere. Nobody's even going to write the obituary contract. Pray to God that JoJo isn't going to start split pushing and break us up. Because once the 5v5 started happening, it's all been sealed. Oh, this game is great all of a sudden. Bang gets started up. Looks to be a contest here. We will see if they can burst it in time. That's they gone. can. Vulcan's ulti over the walls just wait and fight their way into the river, but that is so difficult with this composition to walk in straight to what CLG have. 25 seconds here to go. go. Looking for some exchanges here. Contracts are really hard here. Looking for Jojo. Contracts Jojo's engages. Jojo's gonna be your target. He's low. He pops the Zonia's trying to buy a little bit more time. Contracts lines up the Arctic Assault and Jojo on Palafox. Palafox, he's using his own stasis, but Inspire won't be able to get the damage. CLG killed Triple over to Big Dokes, and it's the game over to Counter Logic Gaming. What a start to the season for CLG. They're going to be 2 0, sitting at the top of the table here, taking down EG in what was nearly a 10,000 gold deficit, sole point four times in a row. CLG hang on and they take down EG. Wow! Scaling the name of the game. I told you. It's getting 